Sinem says on Jeff Zucker's 9 a.m. editorial conference call how they, the Democratic Party, powerful interest groups, may determine how CNN will cover Trump not conceding the presidential election. I just want to underscore something that Michael said earlier about the transition and Trump, because I've been talking to a lot of people this morning on both sides, and they, I just keep hearing the same thing, folks from Republicans who have not come out to congratulate Biden, but, uh, but also to those who have in the Democrats. And that is that we have to be, you know, news organizations have to be very careful and very responsible about not giving Trump too much of a platform on his not conceding because they feel the transition can go forward and you know other than the national security briefings which are critical to start now uh, they just don't want us to exaggerate that trump isn't leaving office and i'm going to have a lot of specific reporting on that later today but just big picture wanted to underscore what michael had said Yep. Agreed. On the issue of why it's important to get the transition going right, um, the 9-11 report talks about one of the problems was that this, the, 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 the trouble that was brewing got lost during the transition. So if you want a good concrete example of what happens when you don't have a good transition, go look at the Twin Towers. So I think that's an important point. Um, uh, I think it was discussed a little bit yesterday in terms of national security. I think it's really uh, important to raise again. I, I would I would encourage folks to think about, you know, that 9-11 commission report and the lack of transition. Yo, oh, man. Man. <laughs> oh, did, you, man. did you get milkshake on your shirt? That's all sticky. <laughs> it's all sticky everywhere. It's genetic. It's going you on got fra- 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 on. Pacino. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wayne Dupree Show. We are live. Uh, uh, my name is Wayne Dupree. That's Leah Bella. Blue eyes, Leah Hi. Bella. Yeah, yeah, I got you. That's Hello. And then we got... Yeah, you said Leah. And, and then we got Brian, uh, the brother, Reverend Pastor Deacon, Dr. Bishop over there, Mr. Brian Smith. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Talk Thursday. Talk Thursday. Talk, yeah. It's talk Thursday. It's talk Thursday. Share the show. Make sure you're sharing the That's show. Right. Take a second to share the show right now because there's people out there that want their voices to be heard. They have some good ideas. They have some good opinions. So share the show right now as we talk about something special. That's right. This show, this show is being brought to you by our sponsor, my pillow mm-hmm. and real quick before we take calls because i know we're excited about taking calls um mm-hmm. we actually have a radio special going on right now um there's discounts with our code you can use code word wayne if you go to mypillow.com click on the radio specials some things are even buy one get one free including their giza sheets uh also their six piece towel set and just to talk about christmas real quick it's coming up it's only a few weeks away and nobody wants a coffee cup with chocolates in it this year, and no one wants a shirt made in China. I promise you yeah. that. Nobody wants anything made in China this year. So my pillow is all made in the USA, in America. So get them something that they're going to be able to use daily, something that's going to be able to last. Honestly, I can't really remember Christmas presents on who got me what, but I can always remember who got me my awesome towel set. I really do. I always can remember that because it sticks with you. So um, look at the Giza sheets, for example. They're made with the world's best cotton called Giza in between the Mediterranean Sea, the Nile River, and um, in the Sahara Desert. In between those, it's made with that special Giza cotton. Um, so you're going to get that soft, breathable uh, cotton material that they use. They, they're also deep pocketed. And again, they're buy one, get one free. And that's a great gift to give someone that set. And that's why I'm bringing it up right now. Uh, all you have to do is use that code word Wayne. And you're going to get a set of sheets, and then you're going to get one for free. 
that coat that, that so there you go let's see that oh, I, thought you were, I thought you were fist bumping me no that, no no <laughs> that, that, not, that, not today yeah that made me spit on my computer <laughs> <laughs> i gotta wipe my computer off the, the, the code word is right down there right under brian so uh yeah so so my pillow.com forward slash radio specials. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, they are the real deal. Okay. We'll we'll say more about it. As a matter of fact, we're gonna be taking some we're going the phone wait, hold on. The phone lines are open. Phone lines are open. And as a matter of fact, we already got we already got six, seven, eight calling in on the line. Six, seven, eight. Happy Thursday. I got a question for you. So a lot of stuff is going on in Georgia right now. Uh, people are saying that they should vote for uh, Purdue and Loeffler. And then you have some people that said, no, wait till the machines are fixed. And then you got some people that say, look, I ain't voting for them at all because they aren't supporting President Trump. What do you think about this? I think if, if we do not want the Democrats to take control of the Senate, that we're going to have to vote. We need to go vote for our candidates. You know, and if those candidates happen to be swamp mongers, we'll take care of them later. But we have got to maintain control of the Senate or we're going to lose America as we know it. Amen. Yeah. Um, what do you think about, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lynn Wood and... Uh, Sydney Powell and and the work that they're doing. I, I'm glad they're doing it. I think there's fraud. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I live in Georgia. I, I know that Georgia didn't flip blue. There's no way. <clears throat> to make oh, you feel oh. better, you know, I think, I think there's fraud, fraud, excuse me, all over, all over the U.S. Yeah, I, I don't know. know if the, yeah, I don't know if this makes you feel better or not. Might even make you feel a bit worse. But Donald Trump broke records with the likes that we ain't seen a Republican break before. Eleven million more votes than he did before. He did better in Philadelphia than he did before. Uh, we won across the yeah. board. Uh, Republicans took back seats. Republicans didn't lose a single seat that was up for toss. Uh, on and on. Oh, Donald Trump. As an incumbent with more than 75% support of his party, the first time to lose in 170 years. We all know it was a bogus election. I'm just saying. Yeah. 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 It was ridiculous. All right, George. Look, we're praying for you down there. Are, yeah. Have you registered already? You mean to vote? Yeah. In the runoff? Oh, uh, well, I'm already registered to vote. I've been you know, the first president I voted for was Reagan, okay. and I always thought he was number one. But now I see Donald Trump as number one. Okay. Bless. No, uh, so you don't have to register for the runoff because you're already registered already. Is that right? Right. Okay. And I will vote in person. All right. Okay. Well, look. Awesome. We're praying for you, and good luck down there. Thank you. Uh, thanks for all the work that you're doing. Thank you, dear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the phone lines are open. It is on you. If you have a question for us, any any type of question, it doesn't even have to be the question that I'm asking. It could be any type of question. We're here. Brian, Brian can take a question. Leah can take a question. I can take mm -hmm. a question. It's yeah. talk Thursday. Yeah, I, think I, I was going to answer a question real quick. I keep getting this all the time. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. What well, asked me? I don't do nothing about this Hello? gray. It's natural. It just shows up. Oh, no, Colin. Yes, that, that men that die for men, apparently you can dye in gray into your beard. Is that, right. is that a thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, I don't do it. Oh, okay. All right. That's it. Um, <laughs> 831, you are live. Go ahead. Hi, Wayne. This is Kathy from California. Hey, Kathy. I just wanted to yeah, call, yeah. Call tell you a little tidbit about when 9-11 happened. My two brothers are Vietnam vets. One came home and one didn't come home. But the one that came home 
Um, I don't know if you know about Fort Ord in California. Well, it was closed a few years before 9-11. And about five days before 9-11, there were guards back at the gate. And that just seemed a little weird to us. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is so weird. why were the guards there? Uh, well, I missed what she said. Where were the guards? At the the four corridors had been closed for two or three years. I can't remember exactly. But there was no guards at the guard station to enter the base, the Army base. And then the five days before 9-11 happened, there was guards back at the gate. Well, you never know. Military bases can get credible information, possibilities. Mm -hmm. We don't know where it's going to happen. We're getting rumors and chat. And, and, and they'll just start to uh, ramp up security without letting anybody know. It could be completely unrelated or it might be related. Sorry. Okay. Probably not the um, answer you want, but that's how I it just goes. want to make a quick statement real quick. I think that the biggest thing right now with the Georgia runoff is people are worried that their vote is going to be screwed over again. If they're using the same damn machines, how are we going to trust that it's going to work? I don't know why there can't be, and I guess it's because of Governor Kemp, because uh, he's an idiot, but is it yeah. because, I mean, there needs to be something done where it's stopped. And then there needs to be an order put in place, just like how there was in Pennsylvania, that there was a loud mail-in ballots, right? Why can't we stop what's going on in Georgia and say, hey, look, you must show up at the center. It can only be a handwritten ballot. you got to show ID. It's that important. We know the drama that has gone on in this country now with this election. So why are they just doing the exact same thing? I'm serious. Stop. Show ID. Fill out a paper ballot. That is the only way that that Georgia election can go on. Right. And, then and that's stick the end your, of it. Your finger in the purple ink and you got marked. I mean, why not? Voted. And he walk out, you can't vote again. No, they I'll changed the rules for Pennsylvania. They changed the rules for Pennsylvania. Right. And the Pennsylvania Supreme Court said, sure, yeah, that's except mail-in ballots. So we can change the rules for Georgia. This is a special election. It's a coronavirus year, as they're saying. So that's only due paper ballots that they're hand-counted. Show your ID. Wear a mask. Get over right. it. Right. No, I agree 100%. We're talking about the machines where Joe Biden did worse than Hillary Clinton across the country, except five cities, and Georgia happens to be one of them. Uh, right. Atlanta, I'm sorry, Atlanta happens to be in Georgia, and, and that's where, uh, it, but, and that was where he outperformed Hillary and Obama, but across the country, he sucked, and we're supposed to trust these machines. I'm just saying, let's just say, for example, if you're on kidney dialysis, if, if, if you're on kidney dialysis and they tell you, well, the machines keep screwing up, and they're giving the wrong type of dialysis to the, to the people and the people are getting <laughs> ill, right? Would you go and get that? Would you go and use the same machine? So the, this is this is insanity. Doing What's the same thing, expecting a different result. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Phone lines are open 718-618-4836. 718-618-4836. We appreciate y'all looking at us. Y'all now. Uh, you can also... You can also get on the phone and call us. Um, Julie. Oh, that's a lot, Julie. Um, let me see. I, I, I can read a little bit. Julie is using our app. So um, she says, uh, so with all the chaos and BS going on around the election, why hasn't anyone mentioned the numbers changing on TV during the live coverage on election night? Did I miss that? I actually saw that happen on CNN and then someone had recorded it and posted it as well. Well, here's my thing. I saw that happen in Pennsylvania in 2000 and 2016. I saw the, those numbers change right in front of my face. Um, and my co-host had went to the bathroom. And no sooner had he got up, I'm looking at the numbers. And the numbers dipped like 40,000 right in front of my face. I was like, wait a minute. I just saw 40,000 numbers, 40,000 just left. I, I mean, and nobody was saying anything. 702, go ahead. How, how are you? Happy Thursday. Hi, good morning. Happy Where Thursday. Yeah, I just have a, a question. I just noticed I was on Parley, and I just, uh, Parley, and I just noticed your phone number popped up. I have a question, if you don't mind. Good. Yeah. 
we have we have all these things going out there with this election stuff and and there, there's two comments i like to make the first one is all this media that's biased against trump i don't see it that way i think that they've already accepted the media that they're promoting this communist uh, agenda of biden and harris and they don't want to they don't care what he's done in the past they don't care how he's done it, when he's done it. They, they're all corrupted, including how they blackmailed SCOTUS and Congress. So there's no way that we can get a fair thing unless we, we clean, clean sweep. So it's not a matter of them um, biased against Trump. It's a matter that they've all, all the media has already bought into that. Like, if they care about what ice cream he likes, he could do no wrong. None of these Democrats could do no wrong. There's a few Republicans along with them. They're all part of it. So if they can do no wrong, let's just make everybody accept it and eat it and drink it and, and live it. Yeah, so welcome to socialism. Keep the vote clean. We're not republic. Well, I mean, look, I've said, and then, I've said for a while that um, the Democrats don't care about unemployment. They don't care about jobs. They don't care have. about um, about the fast track that the country was going on to make it better. They don't care about those things, even if it affects them. It, like um, the tax cuts, they don't care. They don't care if they're getting back money. They just didn't want them in office um, um, because of personality. That's it. Mm-hmm. Right. You can, you can you can hate the man, but you need to love your country. Right. There and we go. seem to be confused. This is an American. All Democrats and all Republicans really should take these affidavits or these people who are out there because they're not actually, they might get a few minutes of their, of their story out there, but nobody's doing anything. What would happen if they filed civil liberties class action? For one thing, our government did not keep us safe from enemies, foreign and domestic. And the True. stuff that happened with the hammerhead or whatever they want, we want to talk about, they don't put it out there. The stuff that Biden was involved in or, or, or Hunter, all of this is actually illegal. And nobody cares. And that's my other point. Why don't we let the country defend itself by everybody going in there and file these civil liberties class action suits? Well, and you're right. And the problem is everybody thinks World War III is going to be fought with guns and tanks. And we are past that now. World War III is going to be big tech. It is going to be technology. And we are right in the midst of it. Yeah, no, definitely. (laughs) We're all wrapped up, spiritual warfare, big tech, silencing of the people. You've got to flip America upside down to where the government is actually above the people and the people serve the government. you got to flip it upside down. 406, you are live here on the Wayne Dupree Show. Go ahead. It's Talk Thursday. Thank you. Um, I'm calling to find out where's Nancy Pelosi been lately. I heard that she's getting fired or that even the Dems don't want her anymore. You know, where 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 has Nancy Pelosi been lately? She's been quiet. She's been on a down low. Yeah, she's been on a bender. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found the money she took all the case. case that the case of her, her. gonna be voting against her because she promised a big blue wave and it didn't happen. This thing works. You know, I don't. I I um I don't know, Carla. Um, I know. I know she was supposed to have done a her her Thursday briefing. I don't know if she did that today, but no, she has been quiet. And, and I think one of the reasons why she's being super quiet right now is because she doesn't want Joe Biden to go through the House and start scarfing up some of those representatives um, to uh, to to cut down her lead or to cut down her lead in the House of Demo, um in the House of uh, in. Congress. So right, and I think she's licking her wounds. I think she knows that uh, they took a hit in the House, and Ooh. that she stayed quiet when AOC was chanting "Defund the police, defund the police." You can't do that. And I think that I hope that she is taking a step back and realizing that she's caused more chaos, and she's she's ruining this country. And 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 honestly, at some point, you know how the woman on the phone line—I can't remember what us. Uh, House representative was said, we need to stop this narrative with the defund the police. Nancy was on that call. Yeah. Yeah. 910, go ahead. Talk Thursdays. 910, going twice. All right. 910, gone. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
I think President Trump is supposed to be down in Georgia this weekend, right? Yes, yeah, Saturday. Big rally. Yep. So uh, we probably might want to cover that too. Show up a little bit. Say mm -hmm. hello. Sure. Brian is going to, uh, we're going to send Brian to Georgia for that one. <laughs> it depends on Yo, where it is. went down to Georgia. I've got some extended family down in Georgia. Did y'all. Brian went down to Georgia. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, to go get the devil, beat the hell out of him. 414, you are live. Go ahead. Hello? Go ahead. Hey, can you hear me? Sure can. Go ahead. Hey, so, you know, I want to weigh on a couple things here. And yep. maybe I, I can express some of the uh, views that other people are feeling, too, because you know, there's two sides to this, and if you're a Republican or Democrat, I think we're all collectively at the point where we know it's not so much politics, but it's about freedoms. And after hearing Trump's speech yesterday, I had the realization that, you know, if you listen to this man and forget the whole narrative of orange man bad, but if you listen to what he's actually saying, there is no way that a good, decent person can actually say that he's wrong. So if they disagree, then, I mean, in my eyes, you're now an enemy of the state. You're now an enemy of America. And going in a bigger picture, the you know, the corrupt government, uh, you know, the, the social crafts, uh, the communistic agenda. I mean, everything that's going on, it's kind of like enough is enough, guys. Let's just lock them up. I mean, they've committed treason on the highest extent. And I know there's a plan and we're supposed to be patient, but get a little exhausting, don't you think? It is. It is. I said that yesterday to both it Wayne is, yeah. and Brian in our private chat. I said, you guys, I'm just, it's exhausting. What's going on here? Hillary's never gone to jail. Obama's never paid for everything he's done. Yeah. Joe's walking around. You know, Hunter hasn't even been arrested. For anything that he's done and cnn can can do whatever they want it, it's become a free-for-all of just illegal activity of gaslighting of brainwashing of social communism and nobody seems to care we just keep letting them get away with it and i asked this to you guys both uh last night at what point well a few nights ago at what point is enough enough and then what does that mean what do we do at that point because it's not going to be like we get our guns and fight it's it's not that kind of war anymore no, so what goes if, on? If you look back at the history of the USSR under Lenin and under Stalin and all the way up through it, uh, this was happening. This criminality was happening with the supposed elected officials throughout the whole mm -hmm. time. Right. Right. It, and it, it just look what happened last night in New York with them protesting the gentleman whose business was shut down his restaurant. Um, and they were chanting, you know, this is a revolution. At some point, you will see strength in numbers. And I'll tell you what, the right has been really mature about things. We're not bashing buildings. We're not burning. What? We're not. When is the last time we 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 burnt down buildings and rioted? We don't. But no, 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 no. I mean, okay, no, no. Oh, come on, we don't no, get credit for anything. Hold on, hold on. Give us credit for that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we don't burn down buildings. No, we, we do. don't. We just talk a whole lot of crap on um, social media, and we call Republican leaders and threaten them. That's all. Well, you know Whoops. what? You know what? That's not <laughs> half as bad. That's not half as bad as what the left's doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, no, no. I, you know, I ain't even gonna wait that on you. You, you. you can't imagine for somebody to call you, your family, they have. something that you said here on... Okay, say that you were holding President Trump accountable on one subject, and then you get an email. I b believe me, I I've seen. How it, many times has this happened? Oh, it happens to me a lot. It happens to no, me I a lot. That, I I get that. So you're saying Republicans are attacking you? Well, I can I, tell you, Democrats are attacking you more. I promise you. I'm just saying, don't give the Demo <laughs> don't don't give them that much credit. Not I you, mean, but I'm just saying in general. There was a couple of phone calls. I don't think it was. I mean, people aren't going to change, but I'm man. saying the majority. Hold on, man. He was yeah. mad, though. Well, yeah, you get a couple of phone calls, and then what? And 
he's he's a straight Republican, conservative, law-abiding citizen, and he's he getting threatening phone calls from those with on his side. What, from what those on his side, huh? Was he? Did, did he go with the mask mandates? Did he show up without a mask? No, 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 no. Not man. All around in Georgia about oh. the vote. About the vote. Yeah, well, you better get in line. I'm just saying. Get in line how? <laughs> There's a cheat on. You gotta, you gotta arrest this thing. You gotta get this thing in line. <laughs> Not nine one zero. Go ahead. You're live. Go ahead. Well, first of all, uh, first thing out business I want to do is thank uh, you, Wayne, and thank Brian. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, I'm a fellow veteran as well. And thank you. Thank, thank you, you for uh, doing what you did. Uh, and especially for this country. Uh, second, I want to say this election was the biggest fraudulent election in the life. Um, and again, I'm I'm young. I'm only 36 years old, and I have never seen an election go down this fraudulent in my lifetime. And I fear for all Americans right now. Um, not only is it are we dealing with issues in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, all of that. I'm in North Carolina, and I'm telling you, I have a very hard time believing we gained a Republican seat in North Carolina. We elected Donald Trump, okay, but we are still stuck with a Democratic governor. How in the world? <laughs> <is that possible? laughs> Ask Kentucky. There is absolutely no reason in my mind right. that right. he that that Democratic governor got reelected. As right. Kentucky, same thing. It's fraudulent with uh, with Bashir. Kentucky, they, they had to swallow that hard pill as well. There is no. How in the world can can all Republicans regain their seats? Plus, we add a Republican in the seat, and also vote Donald Trump as as president, but a Democratic governor get reelected. How? Right. This is happening all over the country. Right. You got Mitch McConnell out of Kentucky. You got Trump uh, praising Mitch McConnell. For, uh, that's a whole other story. Mm -hmm. and you had you had an incredible Tea Party patriot as governor of Kentucky, and then y'all flipped to Bashir. What? And now he's got you all on a lockdown. Kentucky's one of those conservative church going states. At least they used to be. I don't know. We lost Kentucky. <laughs> and and the, the, wor the worst fear is for me, especially in a battleground state. And, and you, I, I, I watch y'all every day. Thank you. And, Thanks, and the, thing that terrifies me the most is everyone from New York and all these other states that are coming from Democratic states that are leaving these big cities because of how the Democrat is doing. Yep. And guess where they're going? Yep. They're moving to other yeah. states. They're moving to North Carolina. Yep. They're moving to southern states. Mm -hmm. And guess what? They're bringing that fraudulent activity down here. Yep, exactly. Same thing. Same thing is happening in Texas. Thank you. Thank you. Now, hey. 910 uh, no nine nine one zero. What's your name? My name's Chris. Chris. Okay. Chris, let me let me add you to our little family here. Hey Chris, thanks a lot for calling. Uh yeah. don't don't let this be the last time you call in, all right? All right, thank you very much. All right. No, but um the same thing is happening in um Texas. People from California are moving into Texas. And if we if 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 the if the right they don't start addressing it, they they're gonna change it next election or the election after that. You watch. People's Republic of California become a cancer on America. You see it. You watch. <laughs> Phone lines are open. You know what? Next uh, no no not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Nine five two. Nine five two, what's your name? Hey, it's me, Clinton. Oh yeah, little Brian fan club. Um, <laughs> What's up, my man? Hey, don't, let, don't pay no attention to Wayne. 
You no, 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 Quinn. Come on, I just have a couple of, a couple of things to address to you guys here. Okay. I've been noticing the election so far, and I've seen how Donald Trump has been doing. And with the GOP, you know, we we watched the GOP get fired up before in the months before the election day and talking about how important it is to save our country and do all this and that. And it's just like right now when we find out where Donald Trump is right now, then they, you know, they all kind of just stay silent. Like, it's like they don't care about what happens to him. And yet they're still pitching their ideas to say, like, you know, vote for us so we can help keep the Senate or keep the House. And it's like, really, the only party we have is the party of the people because, you know, we're the ones that have stood by Donald Trump since day one. I like that. The party of the people. Pretty yeah, much. That's or, it. Or I call it like the Trump, the new Trump party, you know, because it's a party of all of us standing for Donald Trump and fighting for him no matter what, you know. It's like we give the GOP a lot of chances to come through, and it just seems like it's the same old thing. Right, right. Thank, hey, Quentin, so, thanks, thanks yeah. a lot. Thanks a lot, Quentin. All right. All right. No, no, he's right. He's right. Okay, somebody just made a comment that uh, do you realize that people who cast postal votes when they die are legitimate votes, right? What? Hold, if you cast a vote, you got to be alive to cast it. <laughs> but, but if you die subsequently, afterwards, your vote still counts. You mailed it in, yeah. and then you got While it, you were God living. Forbid, yeah. you got in a car wreck with the corona. Because Corona made you dizzy and you know, whatever. Yeah, it yeah. still counts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, corona. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Se seven, seven, five, seven. Go ahead. You're live. Seven, five, seven. Hey, Wayne. Hey. Hi. How Who are you? Hi. Who, who is this again? Are you there? Yeah, who is this? It's Jenny Winnie on YouTube. I'm watching on YouTube. Hey! Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh. What's so I was trying not to freak out over this whole election thing, but one thing that occurred to me probably a few years ago, and especially in 2018, it came to light. Like you said, Wayne, you've seen the numbers change right before your eyes. They sure did. Well, in 2018, um, I'm in Virginia, and what they did, you could see by the precincts, you could go to the Secretary of State, you know, and you could see as the precincts were rolling in, and it looked like the GOP was ahead. All of a sudden, after midnight, they took the whole system down, and when it came back up, it was just with such slim margins, like right above where it would be a mandatory recount, all except one race and i knew that you know they stole it so the same thing happened in 2020 but i'm not sure if you guys listen to dr shiva but he's up in massachusetts and the same thing happened to him and he's been fighting this since 2018 he was trying to go against elizabeth warren and you know who he had the biggest fight from the gop so I hate to think because people have told me for years, because I'm an independent, um, that we're in this paradigm of left and right. But I hate to think that they're all in cahoots, like the North Carolina thing. Right. How how could they have a Democratic governor and then everything else is Republican ran and Republicans gaining seats and everything? It's almost like it's let's make a deal. Like, okay, you guys can have this governorship, but we're gonna keep the Senate. Yeah, right? who's Monty Hall and why are we making deals? Right, right. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but you know what you the whole thing has to come down mm -hmm. for us to you know, how are we gonna get a clean slate? Right. That's what I'm saying. Right. No, 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 yeah. I understand. 
No, well, I'm, Dr. Shiba up yeah. in Massachusetts, yep. you know who he's fighting? He's fighting the Republican governor because right. he wants to see the images. And the, the governor has sealed those images. So they said, you could see the paper ballots, which is are all a mess. But he said, the paper ballots are not what's counted. It's the images. Uh oh. So, uh oh. I, I, <laughs> I got some images. All right, dude. Thank, thank, thank you for your call. No, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I. This, it's almost like a lot of this stuff is predetermined four or eight years in advance to me. You know what I'm saying? Well, what Trump was, it Trump. Trump wrecked their plan. Right, right, right. And now right, they gotta right. wreck him and wreck right. it all to get it back. Right. I mean, yeah. they had to do major, major, major cheating to get this thing back on their course. But it seems like to me, because again, how can you have <laughs> like what's happening down in North Carolina? You got a Republican House, Republican Senate, state, state Republican House, state Republican Senate. You but you have a Democratic reelected governor. I mean, either that Democrat governor is a straight up conservative under what, a, what a, a Dino, Democrat name only, you know, or something. Well, is I mean, in, 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 this is in, why they uh, hated Trump. This is why they wanted him out because he he exposes them for what they are. So they went into panic mode. That's including the media, big tech, and all the politicians. When you get exposed, you don't want that. So of course you're going to try to get Trump out of office. And the problem is God keeps on, you know, he, Trump has really been able to expose deep state for what they are, but right. he gets so far and then it's like, they stop him. He can't get anybody arrested. He gets so far and then you don't hear anything from Barr for three months. And everybody asking where Barr is and oh, Barr just boy. comes out and says, Oh yeah, no, I don't, I haven't found any, any fraud anywhere. You know, well, yeah, uh, yeah. You, you get so, yeah, yeah, you get so far with Hillary for God's sakes, they spied on his presidency and no one got in trouble for nobody, it. Nobody, nobody, nobody got in trouble for it. Were nobody. Tap, yeah. Admiral Rogers. So, saw right. It. So right. my point is we know that there's fraud. They have proved that there is fraud, but what happens next? December 14th is how many days away? Before the electors meet, where is is Sydney and Lynn in court today? Are they showing the fraud cases? This has to be done. We have got to get moving on this. Time is not on our side. And this is what I'm concerned about. I get that it was fraud. We can scream it's fraud, it's fraud, it's fraud all we want. But we now have to move forward. And I love, you know, that Sydney comes out and she talks about it, that it's fraud. And these people, the Kraken's going to be released. But now I've got to see it. Release the Kraken, get in the court, and let's get this moving. Time is not on our side. They, like Leah said, <clears throat> they tapped candidate Trump's phone. They tapped the phone. I remember that Saturday morning when he tweeted. It was like he just found out. <laughs> and he said, my wires is tapped. That, that Saturday morning. And he knows how to keep a secret and he, he knows how to keep confidential information. But the way that he said that and then just left it out there, he was pissed off. He was they pissed off be. when he found out about it. I mean, and you can imagine he's sitting at hit he's sitting at the resolute desk and you know he's looking at his stuff, and then they come and say, We found what they tapped my damn phone. They got they they tapped the phone. They and it's it's been tapped during the whole campaign. We know you won. They still got you tapped. And then that phone call that Vindman claimed he was on that he wasn't on to, to impeach Trump for, that was a tapped wire call too. They was tapping him while he was president. And then, so if they were, now they did that and you're trying to tell me that over the last four years, somewhere in the back room, or maybe even the front room, maybe they did out in front of our face. Maybe they ha have been going through these these scenarios and stuff in front of in front of all of us, or while they were doing all these marches and stuff, you know, distraction while all that was going on, they were practicing something else. 
And uh, President Trump said yesterday, he was like, we were told uh, that uh, the, um, that all the votes were going to be counted. All the votes had still haven't been counted, really. Um, but we were going to tell it was going to be a couple days or, or a couple weeks. No, nobody was going to be projected the winner, and 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 still, the media still gave or projected Biden as the winner on Saturday, on that Saturday when everything wasn't done. Everything wasn't done. And to show you that they really think we're they they don't care. They don't care that Trump was spied on. And a great example is CNN. Right. It says James O'Keefe spied on us on our Zoom call and we've called and we've called the authorities because it's illegal. So we've called the authorities. But no one's been arrested for spying on the president of the United States. No. But all of a sudden CNN's been spied on and they think that it's a felony and that James should go to jail. But Obama and Joe can spy on Trump and CNN doesn't cover it. The reason why he's able to do CNN is because the city that CNN is in, it's only a two-party call, one-party call. Only one person on the phone call needs to know that the, the line's being recorded. It's only a couple of states like that in all of America. And CNN, where they record CNN, CNN, sorry, bro, you got to change the local laws. And though, <laughs> when, Jay, when, when James asked him a question, he was like, um... Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to change phone lines. Yeah, what a- uh, we we're gonna have to back off of this. Uh, I'll be sending a memo about another line and stuff. It would be sweet if James got the other phone line too. <laughs> oh, it would be just it would be, be sweet. It, just beautiful. They would have to start using smoke screens and stuff like like oh, smoke, yeah. s- smoke signals and stuff to to have meetings and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, for um. Phone lines are open. Um, let me get that number back up here. Real quick, why are you doing that? I know somebody just said that, that <laughs> things are now missing that shouldn't have been missing. I know trucks have been showing up in the middle of the night, taking machines, destroying stuff. Things been going right. It's deeper than we ever thought it was deep. I told you a story the other day. Local DOD, just in contracting, no big deal. That's all she has been doing in the last four years as a simple employee is doing whatever she can to cause problems with her job, knowing she'll never be fired. We, we got a cultural problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, did, y'all, did y'all see that, that, that uh, female? Um, yeah, with hair, don't bun. Don't that um, sat beside Rudy. Um, <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know, some people just shouldn't be witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they should practice before they get up there. Some people just shouldn't be witnesses. Uh, and 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 uh I mean <laughs> Do you have it? Yeah. Play, play. Um, what's what's her name? Is it Melissa? Yeah. Are you she, talking about Melissa? Yeah. <laughs> she she got up there and she she told those people. That uh, she lost her job. She can't get a job. She's had to get rid of her social media. But you can go right to her Facebook account. Oh, and no. And her Twitter. And her Twitter. Where, well, where, so she's not active. Is she active? She took uh-huh, picture, yeah, she was just tweeting this morning. She took a picture with Rudy Giuliani and made it, made it her profile picture. I mean. Are you serious? <laughs> I was like, oh, my. The, the poll book. The poll book. Is completely off, completely off. Off that thirty thousand. I'd say that poll book is off by over a hundred thousand. That how- poll book. Why don't you look at the registered voters on there? How many registered voters are on there? Did you do you even know the answer to that? So, no, I guess it's, I'm trying to get to the bottom zero. of this here. Zero. Zero. There's zero. So, my question then. Is if the- that's how many? Wait, what about what about how what what, what about the turnout rate? A hundred and twenty percent. Let's uh, let's let Representative Johnson ask his plastic question. So, <laughs> so the poll book number. Okay, there, there's two things that could happen here. Either the poll book number, if, if ballots were called multiple multiple times, there, there's two options. Option number one is that the poll book numbers are not going to match. They the, don't the actual. 
not by thousands and thousands of votes. That's not what we see right now. You that, take a look again. One. Take a look again. Option number two is that they essentially were, were filling in names of people who didn't vote. That, Dead that, people, too? So is that, Let's I guess, let is that Representative your Johnson ask his question, and then when I he's done. I thought that was his answer. Okay. Well, I guess uh, that, that's well, my, my question here is why we're not seeing the poll book off by 30,000 votes. That, that's not the what case. What did you guys do, take it and uh, do something crazy to it? <laughs> do, you see Ju- do you see Giuliani yeah, you her? Did you see him reach out and go shh, shh, shh. Yeah, Giuliani, yeah, that, yeah. that takes a lot for him to shush somebody because he normally lets yeah. parole. But to her defense, when oh, he God. says, Oh, we don't see no poll books off, well, what, what are you looking at? Why, why, how do you not see them? Because they can now, now you got to be careful. Like Ju- you said, Giuliani, shush. you got to be careful they don't bait yeah. you and make you look like the fool. Well, she, well, she claims that she's a Dominion worker and she was a Dominion subcontractor right. for one day. Right. She was very passionate, and I have to give her props for that. Oh, she's um, she obviously, <laughs> yeah, she cares about the country. Yeah, and she, that's fine yeah. if she wants to argue with them, but like Giuliani tried to do, just stay professional because if not, then the media will make you out to look right. ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, don't get out there and say that but we know, are supporting that, it that you are kicked off of social media and you upload pictures to your Instagram and your Facebook. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, because right now we're at war with the mainstream media and big tech. We are. That's just called spade a spade. We are at war with big tech, with Facebook, with Twitter. Not we as, I mean, as, as an American and right. with mainstream media. So they're going to do whatever they can to make you illegitimate. They're going to try to make you, you know, not credible. So you have to be very careful when you're in front of, in the entire nation, right? You're up there. You're up there trying to defend Donald Trump, right? You don't need to be combative. You, you got the proof. You got the goods. I can't, can can I give you, can I give you a quick story? Yeah. No quick story from back in the way back in the so far back that I it's all done. Uh, I was involved in a trial. And there were nine jurors, and I got to see it all, got to pick them, got to do everything. And then all my friends got up to testify, and the defense got up, and they de- or the prosecution got up. They all testified while I watched the whole thing. And at the end, I didn't have to get up and testify, but I wanted to. So when I got up there, as the prosecuting attorney coming at me, you know, and you could think about these politicians coming at you, I, I took the, the other side, the, the 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 defensive, but I took their words and I was just whoa. What? Let me let me answer. I, I, I your honor, I, I'm trying to answer your honor. And the judge looked at us and said, "Can can you let him answer?" And I'm like, that, that's it. You got to play that that thing." And I weaved all my friends' stories together to make it coherent. And it looked like the other side lied. And the prosecuting attorney looked like a, 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 a succubus trying to suck the life out of me. And they saw it. Innocent. I'm just saying. Do you remember you the AC? Game. Right. Do you remember the ACB hearings? How well she handled that? Yeah, just like her. That's yes. how I would like every witness to be during yes. this entire thing. There Everybody just needs to watch all of the entire ACB hearing and then mock exactly what she does. And I promise you, you are going to sound legit. And you're going to sound like you know what you're talking about. And there won't be issue. Act like ACB. And then when, when you know, one, somebody on your side says to you, uh, what kind of notes do you have down in front of you? And you, I, I don't have notes. Right. This, this is, right. And right. let me tell you, she, you know, in ACB, she, her character was attacked. Her children were attacked. You know that inside emotionally she was quite upset. But she held together her composure. She wasn't defensive because she knew what was at stake and what they would use against her. Wonderful person to follow and to mock. You know that's a good that's a good um, analogy is using ACB's um, demeanor and professionalism because she came off looking like the smartest person in the room the whole entire time. Bar none, right? The whole entire time she. She made all those Democrats. As a matter of fact, she retired. Well, not retired, but um, had Democrats jumping on um, uh, Diane Feinstein. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. I mean, because, right? Because Diane Feinstein 
gave 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 her um gave Lindsay a hug or something afterwards right. as a kumbaya type of thing. So yeah. Well, uh, you know, they even said they said some terrible things about her. She watches the news, but she held it together. Right. You have to when you're in that type of situation. And, and don't go at this as your 15 seconds of fame, ma'am. You're here to save the country. It's not about you. It's about what you know, but it's not about you. Because you're going to go home and not to be, just not be mean or anything, but you're going to go home and nobody's going to remember you. And and I tell you what, that's going to be on Saturday Night Live. Oh, damn it. It that's, will be, won't it? It will be. Yeah, it will. Oh. It will be. It's, it's, it's going to be on Saturday Night Live. They'll make a caricature of her. Yeah. You know what I think should be on Saturday Night Live? Well, considering how controversial the cabinet is that Joe's putting together, and the media could ask him any question at this point, and one of the media yells out, hey, Joe, how's your foot? <laughs> really? 83? Really? What has he got? 83 that's your, now? That's your groundbreaking journalism right there? How's your foot, Joe? Yeah, 83. I, I think he's 83 cabinet members. 830, no, not 830, 83. I think it's up to 83 cabinet appointees. No, that's how his foot is. And, and what you feed your dog? I'm so sick and tired of it. He doesn't even have crutches. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, write down the phone number, 718-618-4836. 718-618-4836. We're getting ready to give away a couple of uh, products. Uh, oh, okay. Products, yeah, we're going to give away a couple of products, okay? So, 718 618 4836. As you know, we this show is being sponsored by My Pillow. Um, and Leah and Leah can tell you a little bit more about that, real quick. Yeah, we're going to give away My Pillow, and you can actually go to mypillow.com. You have to click on radio specials to check it out. Uh, but we have some things with our code that are buy one, get one free, including the six piece towel set and also the Giza sheets. Remember, they're made out of that special Giza cotton that you can only find in between like the Nile, uh, Mediterranean Sea, and the Sahara Desert. So that means that you're going to get that soft, they, they call it a special kind of cotton. I'm trying to think of the name of the cotton. Um, an ultra soft cotton. It's breathable. They have deep pockets. So that's a great uh, bonus for the sheets. Also the towels, everybody keeps on asking, does it soak up the water? Yes, it does. The towels work amazingly. Uh, I have a hot tub and I always get out of the hot tub and it's freezing cold outside. But these towels, as soon as you wrap one around you, they're so soft. They have that lotiony uh, touch to them. Uh, but at the same time, it does soak up the water. So make sure you use the promo code Wayne for the buy one, get one free on the sheets and the towels. They also have the pillows at discount. And again, just use that code Wayne. If you want to, you can call the 800 number. Funny story. I just had one of our audience call yesterday. They called 800-889-0532. And as soon as the, the gentleman answered, he said, are you calling for Wayne? Wayne Dupree. And she said, yep, I'm getting ready to put my order in for Wayne. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> so she was, and she was like, yeah, yeah, I'm calling for Wayne. Cool. He that put the good. order in and it was great. But again, um, I've talked to some od other audience members and they said what's, what's great about it is they're able That's to awesome. keep, yeah, they're able to keep one sheet set and give another sheet set out for Christmas. And honestly, I, as I laid in bed last night, because I've had a really long nine days, I've had some family members with COVID. It's just been drama. But anyways, I was on the Giza sheets with my pillow, just got out of the shower. So I just got done using the towels. And I'm laying there and I'm like, you know what? This is like comfort food for the body with no calories, <laughs> honestly. And that's how I'm looking at it now. It was like, that was the only thing that I had to comfort myself. And I feel like that's how a lot of people feel about 2020. So if you want to get someone a gift that they're going to use year round and that they're going to find useful and appreciate and remember all year, yep. give them something that they're going to use daily that they find comfort in. And yep. that's the my pillows, that's the Giza sheets, the towels. They even have uh, robes out now with the full sleeve pockets, the tie. The robes are so soft, lotiony soft. So get them a robe too. And that's the perfect Christmas gift. Wrap a robe with some towels and you got yourself an awesome Christmas gift for some family members. And the robes, I think, come in blush, white, and gray. So you have a color for everybody. But that topper, man, that topper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Me, that topper. Don't get me started. It's a game changer, man. It's a game freaking changer. That topper, if you call and say that you want a topper, they have between one, two, and three inches 
of the topper, and they also have two free pillows that come with the topper. So now it's almost like you're getting a new bed. Right. You, you're getting the topper yeah. that helps your back or sideways. It even helps sideways too. But then they give you two free pillows along with it. And this, I mean, wow. it's it's like Christmas. It is. It's like Christmas every time when I get in the bed now. I'm like, see, you make me so mm. jealous because I I've been sleeping on the couch because every bedroom is full of people with COVID. So I've mm. been sleeping on the couch, oh, and wow. I just keep I just keep praying that my mattress topper is going to be here, and I'm waiting and waiting. It's only been like three days, but you know, it's, 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 you know what? It it should be there today because they are kind of fast. Yeah, on, it, it is on fast. So I'm just like, so. please let my mattress topper be here. Mm. When it gets there. And you start to take everything off and you lay that out. And you start to put sheets <laughs> on. And then you say, okay, here's 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 that moment. You climb. I might record it. Climb. I up might in record there, it. And then you lay down. And the only thing I got it compared to, because I I don't know nothing. I'm, I don't come from money. I don't know nothing about this topper stuff. I it's just, uh, just lay on the floor if you got to. But the <laughs> only thing I compare it to is that. Five star resort down there in Miami Doral, Trump Doral, Florida. I mean, it was an ex all exclusive resort. I feel like I'm still there every night I go to bed. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's 8 30. Uh, wait, so wait, good. I looked at the, at the clock last night. It was like it's 8 30. I'm like, oh man, I know Wayne's thinking about going to bed because I'm <laughs> I was already well, in bed. Both you. I was already in bed. <laughs> lucky both of you. I was sitting out on the couch worrying about if am I getting this fever or not. I'll text you tonight at 8 30. Yeah, I'll yeah, text you to yeah. see how yeah, you Yeah, rub it in a little bit more. That's great. <laughs> Thanks, well, guys. Our, our past our past winners have been Justin, Debbie, and Tom, uh, um, Barry, and Kathy. So we're gonna do two more today, starting right now. Um, we're gonna go with the 21st. Ooh, I like that number. 21st. Caller. 21st caller. The 21st caller. We're going to get you. All in. We're going to get you a My Pillow pillow. So the phone lines are open 718 618 4836. Let's do it. Let's do it, people. Let's do it. Call Let's 20 it. 21st caller. That's 21st caller. One, two. Keep on calling. And just Three. remember, people with, with sore necks, headaches, or if you feel like you Four. need a nap, the Five. My Pillow will help with your headaches. They help with the sore necks because it actually forms to your neck. It's it's like it's almost custom made for you. And Brian, he always agrees with me on that. But it's like it forms to your neck. So it's like you're sleeping on your own customizable pillow cloud. <laughs> 502, you are number nine. Number nine. People that are asking, they do come in standard and queen and king. They're made with our with patent interlocking fill. It adjusts to your individual needs. Made in the United States. And, of course, 10-year warranty on it. Machine washable and dryable. And what's the number again, Wayne? 21. We're on, We're on 21. Oh, You are number 15. Number 15. 16. 17. 18. Hey, 19. Giving away my pillow. Share it, you guys. We're going to be giving away another one here soon. Oh, next one. Right here. 662. 662. Who, who, who am I speaking to? Sue. You're a winner. Sue. 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 I'm all excited for you because I got the pillow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Me too. Pure love. <laughs> Let's see. Sue. Sue uh, how's, how's your pillow right now? Do you have a pretty flat old pillow that you're sleeping on? A practice pillow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it could be it could be a great my gift. My husband has one, but I don't. How's that? He has a mouth pillow, and I don't. Oh, well. Well, now, well, now you right. got one. There you go. Well, now you got one. Sue, I have your phone number, so we're so all three of us are going to call you after the show, and we're going to get your address. Okay? All right. Thank you. No, thanks, thanks for you. watching, and congratulations. Thanks. All right. Oh, thanks. We're going to give away one more. We're going to give away one more. That's right. That's, no. I am in the – and then I have another surprise. After that, okay. So um, right now, we're gonna go for 
Caller number 30. <laughs> How about caller 30. 300? 300. <laughs> Why not just go for caller 30,000? No. Let's just make it real big like the domino voting system. Let's go with 30,000. Or maybe ask One, two, two, two. So put, put the number up for them to call. Three. Yeah, people don't know the number. So anyways, while he's doing that, we can go over the towels. If you guys are thinking about getting a towel set for your family members, this is just the hand towel. Look how big that is. It's a huge hand towel, very Ooh, fluffy, more. soft to touch. Um, and then you also get two washcloths with the two hand towels, two of the bigger towels. Um, they come in like emerald green. You can get blue. There's a plum. There's white. There's brown. I know the brown's popular. Uh, right there's the number to call Chase. I think Chase is asking. And this is literally the washcloth. It's huge. So I know a lot of you are asking about getting towels for Christmas. Honestly, to get if if I give anybody advice, it would be get the towels for Christmas. Get the towel set for your family members. They will love them. It's buy one get one free with um, the code Wayne. So all you have to do is just go to Radio Specials, type in Wayne at MyPillow.com, and you're going to get a towel set for free. Okay. And you can get different colors, too. Yeah, the weird noise is people getting hung up on. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're wondering uh, what the beeping sound is, that's us going through to get to caller 30. Kathy called in earlier. You calling about your pillow? Yeah. Did you get your pillow what, yet? What number am I? Didn't you get a pillow already, Kathy? If you already got a pillow, you can't win again. Right. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I'll put calling then. <laughs> okay. Sorry. God bless you, Kathy. We're at number 18, by the way. Um, 19. Yeah, we want to try to get 20, two winners. 21. We said 30, right? We did say 30. Big 3-0. 23. 24, 30. Just, just turn 30. 25. 26. Me, me too. 27. Somebody's getting a free my pillow. 29. Mm -hmm. And this is actually, this is number 30. Ooh. And number 30. I do have a surprise after this. So keep calling. Stay on. 720. 720, you are number 30. <laughs> are you kidding? No. Yeah! No. Last time they tried to call was 18. This is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> What's your first name? Lena. L-E-N-N-A. -N -N okay. Well, I you like know what? It. Right after the show, Lena, all three of us are going to call you. We're going to get your address. And okay. we we are going to get that mailed out to you uh, within the next couple of days, okay? That's perfect. Can I ask a question for some help? Yeah. It's about yeah. Georgia. Yeah. So I had started posting because I'm on Parlor. Okay. And there was somebody posting on there, don't vote in Georgia. It's just a fraud. You're not going to win. <sighs> so I've been posting everywhere, vote, 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 vote. Um, but I'm a little tiny person that's not got a, very much of a following. I'm like, please start telling everybody to vote it, right. uh, in Georgia who lives in Georgia. Right. Right. Because yes. no vote is no chance. <laughs> You're right. You, yeah, you are so right. And, and thank so you for, for not being so selfish. I mean, you win a pillow and then you still come on and talk about how important the vote is in Georgia. Right. And that's a true patriot. So right. thank yeah. you so much for doing thank that. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. It's just insane. What, and I know things were taken out of context, but they keep moving with that out of context comment. Don't vote. It's not going to matter. Wow. But because they're scared, yeah. So you have no idea how excited I am. <laughs> All right, Here we go. congratulations! Have a great day, guys. All right, now. Thanks. If now, I'm, if I'm this outside is, the country, can I win? I don't know if they'll show. Yeah, I don't know. I'll yeah, have to yeah. check with our representative on that, and I will mm -hmm. let everybody for that's watching on RT know that. Yeah, had, had to let Holland. Holland wanted a piece of the action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I'll double check with that. <laughs> So what's going on, Wayne? What's the surprise you got? I'm giving away fifty dollars. What? I'm what? giving away. Yeah, it's Christmas. I'm okay. giving away fifty dollars. I'm giving away fifty dollars uh, to to one of our callers, and um, I, actually, I'm giving away fifty dollars every Thursday until Christmas. Wow. On um, for. 
for our callers for the show. I want to help somebody. Uh, That's very uh, nice. Yeah. So I I want to I wanted to like hold you know just hold that over and stuff like that. I haven't wow. been announcing or anything, but I am now. So um, along with the gifts, uh, I wanted to put that out there. So yeah, that, I mean I've I've seen it on other radio shows and different things like that. You know, yeah. And I was like, it helps somebody with their bills or help somebody get something for a loved one or something. You know, absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there that could really use that. Yeah, that's so, amazing. Um, what's your favorite number, Leah? It's a big number, so we'll just number? go with nine. Just nine. What's your favorite number, Brian? Hey, why is he muted? Did he say one? I think he did. I said, I said three. Okay. <laughs> three. So okay. it's twelve, which is my birthday. Okay, so we'll go with call number twelve. Caller number twelve will get fifty dollars. That's 50, pretty yeah. cool, Wayne. Okay. Call caller number twelve. We we'll get fifty dollars. Um, and after the show, we'll call and get your address and get that. And just seat. everybody watching, I I really think it's important that you share that Wayne's going to do that on Thursdays because you don't know who's going to be out there that actually that really needs this. So it's important that you share that and let people know to be watching and listening because that's a really kind thing to do. And you never know who could need that fifty dollars. We have a. We wow. have a we have a Patreon and um, people people give and now we're trying to get it up to five hundred members and right now it's like at one one uh, twenty six or one twenty seven. I mean, and I know it's around Christmas time, so I know we might be losing some members and we. Uh, but the money that they give to us to help us is one thirty one. 131. Um, it helps us do what we do on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And um, it, you know, and I'm just giving back. I'm, you know, I'm just giving back to, to help somebody. I might even give two or three uh, next week. I don't know. I got to talk. I got to talk to my members here. But um, number 12, right? Okay. So starting right now. Call number 12, you will be receiving $50 from the Wayne Dupree Show. Um, you can use it for presents. You can use it for a bill. I wish it was more. And maybe in the future, it will be more. We don't know. But um, that's from me, Leah, and, and Brian. So, all right. So, uh, call number 12. One, two. There you go. Chris. We're getting there. Three. We're getting there. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, Bev Miller. Thank you so much. She said, you see what Bev just did? No. Look in the comment section. This oh, is why I love our God audience. You, this is why I love our wow. audience. God bless. Well, thank you. Okay, so so I guess. Uh-oh. Does that? Maybe two. I could do two. Instead of because I was with you on there. I was like, ah, no, maybe two. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll do two. Um, I was on number that was eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. Hello? Two zero five. Hey. What's your name, man? Hey. Thomas. Thomas, Merry Christmas, man. Yeah. Are you up? Yeah. It's got 50 bucks, Thomas. $50 richer. Holy smoke. Congrats. We, we are going to call you after the show. I have your phone number right here. We're going to call you after the show and, and get your address. And I just want to let you know that in this in this season of giving, uh, we, we enjoy or – we love that you support the show with listening to us and being here for us. And uh, we know it's not a lot, but uh, we like to give something to, to help you out. All right, sir. I appreciate it. I yeah. really do. Thank you. 
Thank you. Call you in. Call you in just a few. Um, so Sue, Lena, and Thomas, we're gonna be calling right after the show. We have should we do this 50? You wanna wait till Monday? Do yeah. another Monday to really kick off the show. We can do that. We can do that. We'll give yeah. We we'll give do uh, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, you trying to call the show? <laughs> you just trying to call the show. <laughs> he was trying to call the show. Brian. God love you. <laughs> he Maybe he like, needs some money to dye that beard. Hey, why are you picking it up? Ain't nobody else on the line. Pick that up. No, it is, it is somebody else on the line. I can see it right here. Okay. So um so that's yeah, so um I think it's a great way to kick off the week. That's that's what we'll do. Um we'll kick it off. I say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, May Tuesday's my birthday, isn't it? Ooh, and do something special about that. Three, four, five, six, seven, no, no, eight, no. ten. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Next Thursday is my birthday. I give a hundred dollars next Thursday. Jeez. I give a hundred dollars. So, so we'll do um, we'll do fifty on Monday and a hundred on Thursday. That's good. On my birthday. Plus, we're also giving away the my pillows to you. My gosh, we're just. Tell you, you won't find another another show like ours. All right. Nope. So, Bev Anything. Miller, thank you so much from from the bottom of our heart. Thank yes, you. thank you, Bev, um, for giving fifty dollars, ladies and gentlemen. If you if you want to add to what we're doing, I mean, we can add easily. We can mm-hmm. we can add real easy that we're doing fifty dollars um, every day until Christmas. Uh, yeah. You can you can help out you can help out somebody and uh because I this is what got me and then I'll get their final thoughts and then we'll let you go. Uh when I when I started listening to a station here in the area um a few years ago, it was a pop station. Now I don't have a thousand dollars every half an hour, but they were giving away a thousand dollars every half an hour. Now I don't know where the money bucket, where the money was coming from, whatnot, but they were giving away a thousand dollars to help people and their bills around Christmas. And I thought it was so cool. You know, I was like, man, I I would love to do that if I could do that. I can't do that. But our listeners give us money to help take care of our platform and different things like that. So I was like, you know what? It's around Christmas time. Let's go ahead and give back. You know, and um, I was thinking about last night and I was like, you know, I'll do that today. I'll I'll do it today uh, along when we're getting away to pillars. They won't know it. They won't see it coming. So it'll help out in some way. So that's the reason why I did it. Yeah, because I'm also selfish because I know God's going to bless me. (laughs) God is going to bless us. Six times over. Always has. Always has. Yep. Yep. So that's why I'm selfish in doing it. I don't mind doing it. Let's give it back to y'all. All and right. Kathy, I did I did talk to Wayne about that and I'll message you later. Yes. About something totally different. So yep. she just wanted me to. So. Okay. All right. Last thoughts, real quick. Yeah. Um, voter suppression in Georgia. Don't listen to, I don't care if it's Lynn Wood, I don't care who it is telling you not to vote in Georgia. You have to vote in Georgia. It's that important. We cannot lose the Senate because then we can lose everything. A balanced Senate is what's going to get us through whatever it is that we need to get through. But what's the most important part is don't listen to them. You have to vote in Georgia. I don't know. No one knows what systems they're using, if they're right, if they're wrong. But you have to give a fighting chance. You still have to vote. You can't just give up and not vote. That's what the Democrats want. That's what they want. Don't give in to it. Don't listen to it. Vote. Vote in Georgia, please. I am also entertaining the idea that uh, we came up with last year 
I'm talking with people on the back end about it, maybe to see if we can make it possible. Trump War Room on the Twitter just tweeted out a Breitbart article that said, record show, Lynn Wood has for decades voted for and donated to Democrats, including Barack Obama and David Perdue's 2014 opponent. Okay. Justice Patriots was an idea that we put together that we would vet individuals and literally run candidates that could meet the grade and support them because the GOP won't even talk to you. RNC won't talk to you unless you say that you, or show that you've raised over half a million dollars. Otherwise, they won't even look at you. We need to run the table on all these people, and we need to know that they're vetted. Um, it's pray for it, and and if God, you know, wants it to be, doors will open and it'll happen. I'm just throwing that out there. You don't know who's who out there anymore. <clears throat> My heart is hurt right now, man. I'm watching Breitbart go off on Linwood. Yeah. I'm watching. Uh, I'm watch. Ted Cruz just went off on Linwood. Yeah. From, from from what I read, and you have people down there, and and Linwood is from that area, so he's worried about his state. It's his state. And you have outsiders trying to tell him how to conduct himself in his state. And the Trump war room is a blue check mark and connected to the Trump campaign. Which is, which is, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. And it makes us look discombobulated. It makes us look confused. It makes us look like we don't know what the hell we're doing. And you know what? We're going to lose the Senate. Man. We're going to lose the Senate because of all this confusion. Right. Yeah. And then people, yeah, and then I people, agree. people are going to be pointing their fingers. Well, you did it. Well, no, well, you did it. Well, you could have jumped on our side. Well, you could have jumped on our side. Instead of looking. And I'm and, and right now, the, the ignorant, stupid Democrats are looking at us like this. Let them eat themselves. Eat oh, yeah. Them. That's exactly what's them. happening. They're laughing the whole way to the bank. You know. Yep, we got this now. And uh, a caller said, "Well, where's Nancy? Nancy has her feet up, eating her ice cream, looking at all the mess that the Republicans are going through right now." Yes, yeah, that's, actually, that's she's her name. Yes, yeah, she's giving awards and she's yeah. doping on people. She's, check out her Facebook page. They're uh, they're holding a ceremonial, swearing in. They're they're living life like ain't nothing ever changed. I mean, now now hell is coming on them soon too, but. Uh, there's a of a war brewing in that part. For us is, you know, I, I mean, I'm I'm seeing social media accounts going after other social media accounts. Uh, mm -hmm. People taking sides and, you know, it's, I don't know. Uh, um, again, exactly. congratulations to Sue. We'll be calling you in just a few minutes. Congratulations to, to Lena in the chat room. I just saw you just a while ago. Um, and Thomas. Thomas will be calling you for your $50. And um, all I got to say is y'all have a great weekend. Yeah. Tune in next week. Get Tell tell all your friends, yeah, the Wayne Dupree Show is giving away money. Um, yeah. And pillows. And, I mean, they're not like every other show. This is a real They actually, yeah. And we, we listen to your voice. We, we include the audience in the show. Yeah, you won't see Fox News doing that. You won't see CNN doing that. You won't see yeah. other podcasts doing that. No, yeah. you won't see a whole lot of other podcasts doing it. You know why? Because they mm. like to hear themselves talk. They like to hear themselves talk, and they don't mind it. Oh, and then and then they hit you up for a whole lot of money. Right. Not us. We like to hear you guys talk, and we give you money. We're exactly we opposite. Not the exact opposite. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here, do us a favor though. Don't forget, please download our app. And it's so easy. Download My mother doesn't app. even know how to do 
FaceTime, but she knew how to download this app. Mm. All you got to do is just go to your app store, type in Wayne Dupree podcast. It'll download in a blink of the eye and you'll be able to call the studio right from there. So you do not have to dial in all these numbers. You'll actually just be able to hit call studio and try to win that money or try to win those pillows. Uh, but you can also watch previous podcasts and live podcasts along with weather. Uh, there's weather other there an alarm traffic and it's free to you thanks to our wonderful patrons they actually yeah. help us with that so it's a free app to you so make sure you download it download it today that's right download the app today and send us a message you see that thing that says mesh studio you can type us a text message and we'll get it we'll get it during the yeah. show or we'll get it off what's it called when you're not doing the show live not off live off air no. off air <laughs> we'll get it off air and then it, it was a good thing. We'll just mention it while we're on the air. You can also call the studio, like Leah just said. All right. that It's been a great evening. Y'all can check us out. Yeah, we do do a Friday show, but it's, yeah. on, but it's on Censored TV. Yeah, you got to check it out. Once we get up to 500 patrons, I promise we'll give you a Friday show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise we will give you a Friday show. But we're trying to get up to um, 500 on Patreon. And like I said, we only have 131. So um, patreon.com forward slash Wayne Dupree show. Make sure that you do that during the replay one. Okay. That's it. That's right. We're out of here. Have a great weekend. What you doing, Brian? You calling us again? I'm trying. <laughs>